I have the Samsung Galaxy S20 right here and today I want to show you how to go in and basically uninstall all of the quote uninstallable bloatware that Samsung has put and preloaded on the Galaxy S20, the Galaxy S20 Plus, and the Galaxy S20 Ultra. So just to give you a brief example, when we go into the app drawer, you see we have a number of different applications pre-installed, whether they're directly from Samsung or third parties like Netflix and Microsoft. But whenever we go in to the app page for these apps, you can see we don't have an uninstall button. These do not show in the Google Play Store app with an uninstall button we can essentially only disable them from our device but that's still going to keep them on there and then even then some of these do not even have disable buttons so today I want to show you how to remove these apps and essentially uninstall them from your device without root access with a couple of ADB commands that we're going to execute on our PC. So before we even begin, you're going to need to have things like USB drivers installed for your Galaxy S20. They need to be installed on your PC. And you're going to need to have some form of ADB and Fastboot tools installed as well. And if you look in the full tutorial for this guide, I'm going to be linking to a tutorial that shows you how to install um, some basic ADB and Fastboot tools. So once you have those installed, you're going to need to open up a command prompt on the PC and you're going to need to execute a command ADB space devices. And this again, this is all explained in the full tutorial, but we're, we need to do this so that the ADB server is running on our PC so that whenever we connect it to our smartphone it will detect it via USB debugging mode. And naturally to use that we're going to need to go into developer tools if you haven't done so already and you're going to need to not only enable USB debugging but grant USB debugging to the PC whenever you connect that cable to it. And again this will all be explained in step-by-step -step instructions on the full tutorial website. And the last part for this setup phase is you're going to need to have an application from the Play Store installed on your Galaxy S20. I'm going to be linking to this application called APK Analyzer, which is just a free app in the Play Store, but there are a number of different they're either called APK packages, app packages, um, APK package name, app package name. There's a ton of applications in the Play Store that will give you a list of the apps you have installed along with the application package name. And that's what's important here. So let's take this Android Auto app as an example. If we were unable to uninstall the Android Auto app, we could uninstall it with ADB by pulling out this package name. So for Android Auto, the package name is com.google.android.projection.gearhead. So it almost looks like a backwards web address, backwards website domain. And then we take that package name, that big long com.google.android.projection.gearhead, and we type that in to our ADB um, command that I'm about to show you and that will remove that from the list of applications we have installed. So let's use Facebook as an example. There's going to be a lot of Facebook apps installed. So that when we do a search for Facebook you can see we have four applications here 
Now, a lot of people will just simply want to get rid of the actual application. However, we can see that there are other Facebook-related apps that are pre-installed here. So to completely get rid of Facebook-specific apps, we need to go through and get rid of all of these apps by using all four of these package names. So keep that in mind, com.facebook.katana, com.facebook.system, com.facebook.appmanager, and com.facebook.services. So now let me show you the command prompt and the commands that we're gonna do to get rid of these apps right here. So here you can see we have a command prompt open you can do this from command prompt, a terminal, or Windows PowerShell. We just need to make sure we have it open and we have it in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools, which if you use the installer that I link to in my full tutorial, will put an actual shortcut on the desktop that you can just double click. That will open up a command prompt and automatically put you in the exact folder that you need to be in. So when you open up a command prompt, again, like I said, we need to type out the command ADB space devices. And as long as you have the Galaxy S20 connected to the PC with a USB cable and USB debugging mode is enabled and access has been granted, which you will see a pop-up on the smartphone whenever you plug it in, then you're going to see your device listed here. After that, we're going to need to go ahead and type out ADB space shell and press enter on the keyboard. And that brings us to this secondary prompt. And this is where we're actually going to type out those commands. So I've got it already in my clipboard. I'm just going to paste it, which has been copied from the full tutorial. So in this secondary shell prompt, we're going to type out PM space uninstall space, and then we need to do a dash dash user space zero space. So we're uninstalling an app for user zero, which is going to be you. So remember, we had four different Facebook apps listed there. The first being com.facebook.katana. So for this example, the full command is pm space uninstall space dash dash user space zero space com.facebook.katana. And then when we press enter on the keyboard, assuming you had that a package name spelled correctly, you will get a success message. Not only that, if you still have your APK analyzer application installed and open, you're going to see that Facebook app tied to that package name disappear from that list of apps. And remember, there are, were four there, so we're going to continue com.facebook.system enter again success message and in our APK analyzer that application is now gone the last two were com dot Facebook dot app manager and then lastly com dot Facebook dot services So you can see we just uninstalled four different Facebook related apps, Katana System App Manager and Services. We got success message on each of those. And now when we search for Facebook, the application is no longer there. So I just wanted to show you this APK Analyzer app again. Now, just like I said, whenever we search for Facebook, those four applications are no longer there. So you can use this command to uninstall any 
pre-installed first-party bloatware apps that you no longer want. We can, if you want to, look for these apps in the app drawer. You see we have OneDrive and Netflix apps here. Neither of these can be uninstalled through traditional means. But whenever we go into the APK Analyzer and we look for Netflix, you can see we have that listed there with the package name. So I can plug com.netflix.mediaclient into that command that I just showed you and it will get rid of Netflix. Same thing with OneDrive. So now that you know how to uninstall it, the big question is which ones do you uninstall? Because there are a lot here to choose from. You can see how many apps is in this list. And you don't want to just go through and uninstall a bunch of them just randomly. I'm going to be, be providing a list of uninstallable packages collected up by the community. I saw that there was an XDA thread that had a pretty good list for the Galaxy S10. And since the S10 and the S20 series both are running One UI, most of the package names and the packages available are going to be the same. There could be some slight differences from one to the other. However, people who want to, for example, get rid of Bixby, you can see by searching Bixby, there are a number of different options that we can choose from. So just like to uninstall those Facebook services, if we wanted to get rid of Bixby completely, we would go through each of these and uninstall them one by one. Now, if you uninstall something that was not meant to be uninstalled, you're likely going to be getting some random types of applications have uh, stopped messages. There are various prompts that appear that will say stuff like the settings app has been stopped or it has crashed or and a lot of times that is from say a settings app trying to access a Bixby feature that you have already uninstalled. Which just makes sense if you are if you have removed all Bixby related application packages and you go try to activate Bixby or activate a Bixby setting, then you're probably going to get an error. That error is not going to pop up all the time. It's not going to pop up while you're on the phone or while you're playing a mobile game or watching a YouTube video. But if you're diving into the settings for Bixby and you've already removed them, then you may get a crash of the system app. Just something to be aware of. Nothing that will ruin the device or break it, in this specific example at least, but something to be aware of. And if you ever notice that happen in the full tutorial that I write for this video, I'm going to be including a reinstall command that you can use. So if you notice that removing one of these Bixby packages has affected, say, Google Now or Google Assistant, then you can go in and reinstall these Bixby packages or just the specific one that affects the other feature you're trying to use, and it will be as if you never uninstalled it in the first place. I also wanted to tell you that if you use ADB to uninstall these packages, these apps, if you ever do a factory reset, those apps are going to come back. So you can see I just uninstalled some Facebook apps. If I were to do a factory reset on this phone, those Facebook apps would come back and I would need to use that ADB command to get rid of them again. So there you have it. That is how to use ADB commands to uninstall bloatware apps and specific features that you may not ever use or want from the Galaxy S20, the Galaxy S20 Plus, as well as the Galaxy S20 Ultra.